what's going on guys and welcome to your 24th jQuery tutorial in which we'll be continuing with our new sticker which we built in the part 2 and I've just done a little bit of amendments to the span ID previous and next just switched their positions and changed something to symbols like these looks much fancier than the just keywords new and previous so now let's do some CSS and some jQuery on this and let's make it a bit shiny and inspect element is the tool we are uh, we'll be using and I hope you know inspect element because in my HTML series as well and in my CSS uh, in my JavaScript series as well I have explained this inspect element tool a couple of times so if you don't know and you are jumping directly to jQuery 1 then go back to any of my HTML or CSS series and I'm explaining this tool right here the inspect element tool very nicely in both of these so let's get started and uh, let's apply some CSS to it and let's say to make new sticker a little bit of padding 10 pixel background background color green should not look good but let's select a good color from here let's make font weight a bold font family should be Calibri and uh, let's give it a padding of left 20 pixels 25 maybe and we're good to go I guess and how about making it inline block so that uh, make it 10 pixel and 25 pixel that should be it so here we go let's copy this paste this thing right here let's remove the comments and I don't give a damn about indentation and why the heck it didn't work I have no idea uh, so what went wrong okay so we are on tutorial 23 poor me so now this is a little bit styled so let's style these things a little bit and I'll just select both of these because I need some styles similar on both of these pointer padding 10 pixels background red color white font size what do you say 30 pixels maybe width 20 pixels no a little bit more okay so with this not applying on them let's make them inline block and 30 pixels would be good to go maybe 35 text align center height should also be 35 pixels border radius 50 percent and line height should also be 35 pixels so we have got a nice little circle and what if I make it a little bit lower so that it's in perfectly center and let's make the padding a little bit low and I'll just use uh, what you say box sizing about the box and the height is right now 35 by 35 so I will just go with line height as 20 pixels maybe uh, let's copy this out and paste it right here so we have got two buttons on clicking which would turn the sentence to other new sticker uh, let's make this thing a bit more fancy with jQuery and right now it kind of immediately appears uh, let's give it a kind of shading and smooth transition to happen so right here let's work with next and we would get the same code for this one as well so right here I'm just removing the class active which seems great and I'm adding the class active to this automatically um, but let's say 
to set, set the OPACIT Y opacity to 0. Now what happens is, though the class is added but the opacity is still 0, that means the element is still not visible. So now let's uh, animate and I know that I haven't explained this method yet but I would, I promise you that even uh, immediately in my next tutorial but just learn about that this animate is kind of your gem house if you want to make your transitions very smooth and very realistic so right here we are doing that for this uh, let's make it same for next one next and uh, let's reload this one two okay so we have got all of these and why we have got all of these because we have to use active div instead of this thing so let's reload and I guess I messed up with the code a little bit because this has to be active I guess no this has to be new sticker yeah I remember now let's reload mm. what's happening here baby let's re undo this all and I've got new sticker EQ0 animate opacity of 1 and similarly I would like it to have CSS attached like this. Let's reload this now. And we have got nice uh, effect with our jQuery one. Now you see we get kind of a smooth transition between this. And we can just copy and paste this, this line with or why not the whole bunch of code just replace it with brief and here as well just replace it the EQ with negative 1 and everything is same let's reload this and we have got our nice new sticker styled in the ugliest way possible in the world but yeah who cares so you could make a lot of new styles out of this you could try your own CSS make colors gradient and you could use some more of jQuery if you wish to and that's how you create a simple new sticker with jQuery so thank you for watching this video tutorial and I'll see you there next time with probably this animate animate baby right here so see you then and don't forget to subscribe